Greetings and welcome to the Gadget 360 show with me, Rajiv Makni. We've got an incredible lineup. We're going to show you incredible things. First, we'll start off with the Panasonic Mirai Pro Factory. Smart platform for manufacturing, tracks production stats in real time, works with both old and new machinery. How does this matter to you? Because this is where all your cool products are going to be made. Then we'll move on to the Fitbit Lux. Fitness tracker built with much more premium materials, very luxurious stuff, colored AMOLED always on display, very precise sensor focused on wellness along with fitness. Looks good too. We'll move on then to the Iowa Desk Elite SPX 350J speaker. Mouthful, but also has rich, powerful, room-filling sound support for high-res playback with Qualcomm's Aptex HD codec. Extremely solid metal design. Looks good, feels good. Means to be used as a small desk speaker, but the sound? The sound was amazing. And we'll round it up with ARC 2100, a USB hub with a 10 watt Qi wireless charger, comes with two USB A ports, SD card slot, micro SD card slot, and a headphone jack. Very easy to carry around and really is feature rich. That and a whole lot more happening on the show. Let's get started with this week's show. Tesla launched a $1,900 quad bike for kids called the Cyber Quad. Designed for kids aged 8 years or more, it comes with a steel frame, comfortable cushion seat, suspension that can be adjusted, and rear disc brakes. Much like the huge Cybertruck, it comes with LED light bars on the front. It can achieve a top speed of 16 km per hour and has a range of about 24 km. It will only be shipping in the US for now. With the global chip shortage in full swing and scalpers not letting any of the current gen GPUs be in stock, Nvidia has come up with a solution. The company will be reissuing their older gen GPUs with upgrades. The first one in the line to be reissued is the RTX 2060, now available with 12 GB of VRAM, double of what it was initially launched with back in 2019. Other OEMs will also be able to make their own custom versions of this card and with the increase in VRAM, the price is also expected to be higher than the initial launch price of $349. Our top story today is the Panasonic Mirai Pro Factory. You know, this is where we get to see how factories are evolving to the next level. A smart platform for manufacturers to help them track everything in a factory. It consists of devices called data loggers that can be fitted onto machines, both new and old. And all the data collected by these data loggers is sent to a dashboard which crunches out useful metrics that helps track production, machinery health, detects future bottlenecks. So this is our factory of the future. Usually we talk about products getting smarter, but today we're going to talk about the place they're made in getting smarter. Panasonic is known mostly for consumer electronic products like TVs, air conditioners, washing machines, cameras, but they also manufacture machines which manufacture these products. Last year, they introduced their Mirai smart platform which connects all of the products into an ecosystem controlled by the Mirai app on the phone. And now, they have enhanced the tech behind Mirai to make it more useful to manufacturers as well. And that is what they're calling the Mirai Pro Factory. Mirai Pro Factory consists of an ecosystem of a cloud and data loggers that track data throughout the factory. Now, the term smart factory can mean the removal of labor from the manufacturing process. But that is certainly not the case with Mirai. Mirai is meant to complement the labor in the manufacturing process. The objective behind it is to actively track the productivity at any point during the day, which is supposed to be impossible in a normal factory, reducing the cost of production by detecting bottlenecks that have occurred or might occur in the future. And all of this is supposed to work with any kind of machinery, no matter if it's old or new, or if it is manufactured by Panasonic or not. Sounds amazing, right? Let's see how it works. So there are these data loggers, which can be installed in any given machinery or plant. The data logger simply tracks each and every unit that is processed by the machine throughout the manufacturing process. This can be any kind of machinery, an individual unit that performs only specific tasks independently, or a unit that is part of a much bigger manufacturing workflow. And all of the data collected gets transferred to a connected cloud 
as Panasonic likes to call it. The data collected is then processed and can be organized into different metrics and reports which are as per what the manufacturer wants to see. These reports are extremely customizable and incredibly detailed. The data collected mainly breaks down the current productivity of the machine and whether the current output is equal to or less than the ideal output that the machine has been able to produce. Such data can answer questions like if the machine is working well, if it is approaching a bottleneck in its output, if it needs to be serviced, how does the current output compare to the general productivity of the machine over the years? And such data can serve as the holy grail for every manufacturer as they can get a very accurate picture of what is happening at the shop floor level of the factory. This tech is ideal for factories that manufacture electrical appliances such as refrigerators, air conditioners, and automobiles. Panasonic has been getting multiple inquiries since its launch and has also started installing the tech in certain automobile factories already. This tech has the potential to entirely change how factories work and we're excited to see it grow further into the future. Our next story is a new device from Fitbit. Now, Fitbit not really being doing something out of the ordinary, out of the box. These were the people who really started off the whole fitness as a band entire revolution. But the Fitbit Lux brings in some really cool things. First of all, it's designed with more premium materials, precision crafted stainless steel, looks really good. It's focused on wellness along with fitness. It's not something that is that, that bulky thing. Bands are interchangeable with other luxury first party bands. Colored AMOLED always on display. Smart UI design makes using the extremely small display much much simpler. Great app, the sensors are very accurate, can accurately track skin temperature, blood oxygen levels, step count and heart rate and like I said the Fitbit app works great to combine all this data to provide you detailed and insightful health metrics that you can do something with. Priced at 10999 While most fitness bands get the fitness aspect right, all of them stop right there. Not the Fitbit Lux. Fitbit's newest fitness band is built with better materials, better looks, better tech, along with a focus on overall wellness rather than just the fitness of the user. And when everything seems to be better, the price tag is also higher. And we are here to answer if Lux does well enough to be worth the higher price tag or not. Starting with the most significant upgrade over other fitness bands, Lux is designed well. From the first sight, it does not look all that different, but once held, the difference is felt immediately. The tracker itself consists of glass and a precision crafted body of stainless steel. The bands are interchangeable with many first-party luxury bands too. The default band is a silicon one that looks great and the tracker altogether feels weightless after a few minutes of wearing it. Up front, the display is a colored AMOLED panel. The colors look great and the brightness of the panel is good enough to be used outside. And the AMOLED tech enables the display to be always on with the battery life lasting for 4-5 to five days. As for the UI that shows on the display, it works well. It consists of swiping through different screens which serve different purposes. Screens for checking and interacting with notifications, starting a quick workout, starting a breathing session, setting an alarm or setting a timer. The animations are smooth and using the UI of the tracker on such a small screen feels surprisingly easy. That is all made possible due to the smart UI design. Flipping on the back, the sensors on the Lux can accurately track the skin temperature, body oxygen levels, step count and heart rate. And all of the data from these sensors is synced with the Fitbit app whenever the user opens it. And with the app, the wellness ecosystem of Fitbit comes in to take the Lux a step above. The app combines all the data tracked by the tracker and combines it to calculate scores related to different health metrics. For some scores, the tracked data is enough. For others, the users would need to log some of it in. Like for stress management, along with data about the user's heart responsiveness, activity stats throughout the day and sleep data, the user also needs to log in how they are feeling to get an accurate stress score. 
These scores, while not helpful individually, can turn out extremely insightful over a long period of time. The user can easily see the long-term trends and find out if their stress management is getting better or if their sleep is seeing any improvement. Some of these scores are available for free, but to enable all scores and getting access to features like wellness reports, video workouts, guided meditation sessions, the user needs to subscribe to the Fitbit Premium for 100 rupees a month. But with the purchase of the Lux, 6 months of premium is available for free. The Fitbit Lux is a truly premium product when it comes to design and it also offers access to Fitbit's ecosystem of wellness data tracking which is just another thing it does over and above what a normal fitness band can do. And for the price of 10,999 rupees with everything the Lux does, it is a product we can easily recommend to anyone looking for something that is designed beautifully and offers wellness features. Next up is a speaker that we all really, really like. It's for your desk. It's the Iowa Desk Elite SBX350J speaker. So Iowa has the same problem as Sony. They just don't know how to name their products. But just like Sony, they're doing one good thing. They're coming up with great products. So it's meant to be a speaker placed on the desk, not meant to be carried around. Makes you feel the quality from the very first impression. As soon as you take this out of the box, it came in a wooden box to us. It's made entirely out of metal. Feels as solid as a brick. Heavy, therefore not portable, but it is sound. The sound is what really makes this one stand out. Offers room filling volume, wider sound stage, ample bass, that thump that you want, clear mids and highs. It also supports high resolution playback. The battery life is about five to six hours only, but then remember, you're not really going to carry it around. Priced at 17,990. We are here today to talk about something rather small. This is Iowa's Desk Elite SBX350J speaker. A powerful Bluetooth speaker that is meant to sit at one's desk to treat them with amazing sound. And in the next few minutes, we'll tell you if this speaker is worth it or not. From the moment you take it out of the wooden box the speaker comes in, it becomes obvious that this product is premium and focuses heavily on quality. Even though it is small, it feels heavy, which makes it less portable. The user would want to keep it away from dusk or water as there is no IP rating. And while holding it, it feels like a solid piece of metal rather than a speaker with tech inside it. It is wrapped all around with metal, with metal mesh on the front and the back. Up top, one can find an LED screen with a power button, mute button and volume controls underneath it. The LED screen shows the connection status along with Iva's logo in Japanese and English. On the right side of the speaker is a 3.5mm aux port and a USB-C port for charging. Inside the solid metal are front and back base radiators and 40mm active audio drivers. These components are responsible for producing the rich sound out of both the front and back of the speaker. Apart from this immense volume out of the speaker which fills the entire room with sound, the speaker gets plenty of other things right too. The details of the music are crystal clear, the highs are comfortable and accurate. The bass is dense and strong. Every note sounds nice no matter the choice of genre. And with the wide sound stage of the speaker, there is proper separation between instruments and using it while watching movies also ends up being a great experience. The speaker is also capable of being paired with another unit which can create a stereo output and higher volume for parties. And with support for Qualcomm's Aptex HD codec, the speaker can take advantage of high-res music files. But the biggest flaw and also the third reason for the name Desk Elite is the battery life on the speaker which is not impressive. It lasts for 5-6 to six hours with volume kept at 70%. Hence, it will be better to keep it on a desk plugged in, moved around occasionally for a short while. Iva's Desk Elite SBX350J is an extremely impressive speaker. It is capable of producing incredible sound, supports high resolution playback and feels premium in every way. And at the price of 17,990, it would be easily worth it for the people looking for an impressive speaker they want to place at their desk with the highest quality audio they can find at such a price. But in case one is looking for a speaker to be carried around with great battery life and an IP rating, it would be better to look elsewhere.
Next up is a USB hub and wireless charger, the ARC 2100 USB hub. It's meant to save space on the desk and inside the bag, so you can easily carry this around. It really adds a lot of functionality to what you can actually do when you have this. So, connects to a laptop through a USB-C cable, Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port on the back, two USB 2.0 type A ports on the front, SD card and micro SD card slots along with the headphone jack on the right side. On the top is a 10 watt Qi wireless charger. Ports are very well spaced out so you can actually use them even if the plug of something is really big and thick it can still be working. Comes with the safety standards in place so that there's no overheating if you're using it for many many things so no short circuit or any effect from fluctuation in voltage. It's priced a little bit more expensive than I thought it's about 5000 rupees. With the hybrid workspace we work in today, sometimes at home, sometimes at the office, less stuff in the bag is a necessity. And with the number of ports and slots reducing from laptops, living the dongle life is a habit. But carrying an SD card reader, a USB dongle and having to choose between the limited ports to use is confusing. Also, phones need their charger, so that also has to be added to the mix. Well, Rager decided to merge it all. This is the Rager Arc 2100, a USB hub with a wireless charger. The Arc 2100 connects to a laptop through the USB-C port. On its back, it has a Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port, which can be used to connect a USB-C charger to fast charge laptops. On the front of the hub are two USB 2.0 type A ports. While not capable of the fast speeds of USB 3.2 ports, they fulfill the tasks they are meant to perform. On the left side is an SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. The transfer speeds are much faster than the cheap SD card readers, mostly available online, due to the faster port and speedy USB connection to the laptop. Right beside it is a headphone jack. And up top is the 10 watt QI wireless charger, which starts charging the phone as soon as one is placed on it. The entire hub is designed well. The size is as small as it can be. The ports are well spaced out so that they can be used all at once. The wire that connects to the laptop can be easily looped under the base. The hub easily saves space inside the bag by removing the need for carrying a charger for the phone, an SD card slot and a USB dongle. The Arc 2100 also saves space on the desk as everything can be connected to the hub itself. The laptop charger, hard drives or external SSDs, SD cards, wired headphones, everything connects to the laptop through the hub. And everything is driven through the single Thunderbolt connection going into the USB-C port on the laptop. If the laptop needs to be taken elsewhere for a minute, the user ends up needing to remove just the one single cable going into the laptop. Along with utility, Rager has also ensured some standards of safety with the Arc 2100. USB hub remains unaffected by fluctuations of voltage. It does not significantly heat up in any way. There is no possibility of any short circuit happening either. The Rager Arc 2100 is priced at Rs 4,999 and for everything that is made easy by it, along with all the safety features that come with it, this is an excellent deal. For anyone looking to save space on their bag or desk, this will be our firm recommendation. That then was the Gadget 360 show for this week. Do remember, as always, we've got incredible stuff coming up next week. Do join me then.